Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this, and share these videos with anyone else studying for the CCNA. In this lab, we will troubleshoot BGP, using the same network we configured in the previous lab. There are three misconfigurations, all on R1. Let's get started. Enable. R1 is displaying lots of messages regarding OSPF and BGP. Let's focus on this BGP one first. Peer in wrong AS. Let's investigate here. Show IP BGP summary. Notice the BGP router ID of 1.1.1.1 taken from the loopback interface, just like in EIGRP and OSPF. Look down at our neighbor here. 100.0.0.1 is SPR1. However, the AS is 6500, which is why R1 is displaying the peer in wrong AS message. SPR1 is actually in AS 65001. Show IP BGP neighbor. Up here by the top, you can see BGP state equals idle. That's the initial BGP state. And if a wrong peer AS is configured, BGP won't proceed further than this state. Let's fix it. Conf T, router BGP, 65000. Neighbor, 100.0.0.1, remote AS, 65001. Immediately, we get a message saying the neighbor is up. Do show IP BGP neighbor. Now the state is established. That's what we want. However, we keep getting these OSPF messages. Something's up there. The message clearly tells us what's up, actually. Mismatch area ID. Do show IP route. We aren't getting any OSPF routes because of the area ID mismatch. Do show IP protocols. There's the problem. OSPF is activated on all interfaces in area 1. It should be area 0. I'll remove the current network statement and fix it. Router OSPF 1. No network 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 255.255.255.255, area 1. Network 0.0.0.0, 255.255.255.255, area 0. Okay, that should fix our OSPF problem. Although this was an OSPF problem, it's relevant to BGP, because the OSPF problem was causing routes not to appear in R1's route table, which affects BGP. There should still be one more issue on R1, but I'll head to R2 and test if we can reach the external server at 15.0.0.1. Enable. Ping 15.0.0.1. Nope, the pings still fail. So let's go back to R1. R1 should be advertising a 10.0.0.0 slash 16 summary to the service provider. Let's check if it's in the route table on R1. Do show IP route. There it is, 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Let's check the BGP table. Show IP BGP. However, it doesn't show up in the BGP table. Let's check the running config. Do show run. There's the problem. The 10.0.0.0 network is configured with a slash 8 mask, although it doesn't appear here because it defaults to the class A boundary. But remember, BGP requires an exact match in the route table. Let's fix that network statement. Router BGP 65000. No network 10.0.0.0. Network 10.0.0.0, .0 .0 .0 .0, network 10 .0 .0 .0, 
mask 255.255.0.0. Do show IP BGP. There it is, 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Now it's in the BGP table, so it should be advertising it to SPR1. Let's try that ping from R2 again. Ping 15.0.0.1. Okay, the ping works now. We've successfully solved the problems on the network. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.